today we are at Longshan Temple and also in Lugang generally. So I will show you around a little bit and explain a little bit what the teacher is explaining to us. And yeah, hope you like it. The weather is really comfortable today. So Longshan Temple is said to be the most beautiful temple in Lugang and it was built around 1700 and over the years artists added more and more works to the temple so it became really beautiful. So here you can see a stone carving that has fish in the middle like yin and yang and four dragons around it which are chained together to represent that there is nothing evil that can come through. And on the outer corners you can see bats which represent a good blessing. And generally all the artworks in the temple were made by the best artists in the time, which probably explains why it's all so beautiful. So in a temple you can of course also pray and there are these curvy shaped dice like wooden pieces. You take two of them and throw them on the ground and you can get three answers yes, not a good time or uh, asked again. And if you get yes, you will pick a, like a stick from that can and on that stick is a number which you have to ask again if you took the right stick if you get yes again you will be able to pick a piece of paper out of one of the boxes on the right and it will say something about the question you ask and your fate somehow. So we are just walking through the streets now and they are really beautiful. There are lots of plants and old buildings and you should definitely check this out if you get a chance to be like close to Daejeon. Also all over Lugang you will see that they have a lot of these red lanterns. They are actually quite common to hang around the streets in the more southern parts of Taiwan. And then we went to the artist village, Isu Chun, to paint some lion heads. And this is the place and they have a lot of beautiful lion heads hanging around. So around Lugang you will also find these deer statues. Um, because Lugang actually means deer port because they used to export deer skin in this place. Also, 
motto, don't be afraid of the glassy. This is not be afraid of the glassy. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the glassy. <laughs> Of the sleepy. <laughs> Hello? Oh, this is my own focus. Ich bin durch diese Galas, Galas uh, Factory Museum. <laughs> Solange du nicht auf den Bänken einschläfst. Head of Tyre. Right now, we moved from the art village to this place, which is the glass factory, and we had some dinner, early dinner, and now I'm tired. <laughs> More like delusional. The illusion of tired. What? I said delusional. The delusion. The delusion. <laughs> Oh, but this is so pretty. What's going on? Like our tour guide is like very glassy. Very glassy. <laughs> Don't be afraid of the glassy. I'm not sure if anyone can listen to this. Like this is so <laughs> You're filming very well. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna take it from here. It's also blurry. So you want to be in my video? Yeah, this is Lisa. I don't know if I introduced you. So I was definitely too tired to appreciate all the beautiful artworks in the glass factory. But you could see so many beautiful glass pieces and also see in the end how the glass pieces are crafted. yesterday and forgot to finish the vlog so I just wanted to say um, that it was really fun and yeah see you soon hopefully bye <laughs>